Okay, now we go now to a sample problem sa compound dilution, no? Alright, so, medyo na-cut niyo siya, Lige, kay kulang na akong memory. <laughs> so, ako na sa giputol. Alright, so, <laughs> alright, so, galanta ko sa, like, you know, sa video, as in, anambok, I don't like it! Like, daw, kay, like, it's because of the break naman, no? I think it's quite reasonable or understandable naman, guys, no? Kay medyo, napasarap yung kain <laughs> sa break, so, Sige lang, magpaniwang lang ko. Pero like, whoo, Lord Jesus, I feel so fat. But anyway, alright, so, so mga new students dyan, so guys, in anilig kong lecture, na mga chika gamay, na mga kalat gamay, so, I hope okay ra mo, Anna. <laughs> you don't have any other choice, kaya ako may teacher, so, <laughs> joke lang. Alright, okay, so we go now to your compound dilution. So again, ang point sa compound dilution is you make um, smaller dilutions, okay? Ang simple magod kay Osara siya, alright, but ang compound dilution, you make several smaller dilutions, Okay. So example, uh, let's say kanina problem, no? So we compare between simple and compound. Now this problem, pwede maka mag simple dilution. So you, okay, since simple man ang problem. But example, so wala matakabulo sa diluent volume, no? So yes, so ina na formula or atong equation. Uh, but as you can see, ang imuhang diluent volume is quite large. You use 49.9 ml to achieve this dilution. Now in the laboratory, this is quite... Um, um, kanang wasteful, alright? Um, daho kayo ang ML na gamiton for, for this test. And aside from that is, aside from um, wasteful siya, um, it could also lead to different inaccuracies, okay? Because again, you're using quite a large amount of volume and what you're doing is, basin sa pag-mix, ana, na yung mga mayabo, or um, daho kayo ang volume na kailangan, so sa pag-dispense, ana, basin improper, in ana, basin. So, that's quite, um, we don't want that <laughs> in the laboratory. We want that we achieve the test um, cost effectively, all right, um, using the less amount, uh, the smallest amount of reagents as much as possible, all right. But I'm not saying that uh, this is wrong, huh? You could always do this, all right? Okay, Ragyun. But uh, as much as possible, we want to make sure na um, we achieve again our test cost effectively. Wala kayo wastage, okay? Wala kayo na nausik, all right? Or wala na sayang. Alright, dili para sa inyong relationship. Charat, nasayang. Charat, <laughs> joke lang. Alright, okay, so that's for simple dilution. Now, another way is we now go to your compound dilution. Diba? Your compound dilution is we make smaller dilution. So therefore, we use quite a um, large number of tubes na instead of one tube. So example, ayan. So for compound dilution, we then plan the number of dilutions and tubes na kailangan. Is it three tubes ba? Or is it four tubes ba? Nagamito ni Nana. So example, Ayan. So, for example, uh, this is your first tube. Ang imong dilution daw, nag-start ka at, at a dilution of 1 is to 5. Alright? Ayan. So, of course, your final dilution is, since this is the first man na undiluted, okay, na sample, or 1 is to 5 siya, so your final dilution is 1 is to 1. So, your final dilution is 1 is to 5. Okay? Now, we then go to the second tube. Now, we get daw 0.1 ml from this dilution. Okay? So, um, therefore, your total... Sige, ako nalang i-draw. Kay parang mas ano siya. So, example, okay. So, your first tube daw contains 0.1 ml of serum and 0.4 ml of the diluent. Okay? So, therefore, pila man ang total ani. Uh, that's, di ba? 0.1 ml over 0.1 plus 0.4. So, that's equivalent to 0.1 over 0.5 or your dilution is 1 is to 5. Okay? Gets lang. Now, you get another tube, alright? And then you get 0.1 ml from this tube. So, therefore, and then this contains already pilaman, 0.9 ml of diluent, alright? So, that's 0.1 ml over 0.1 plus 0.9. So, that's equivalent to 0.1 over 0.1. Or, <laughs> tama. Ah, 1.0 de bugo ka, Mark. Okay. So, that's equivalent to 1 is to 10. Alright? Okay. Ayan. So, uh, <laughs> point 0.1. Bugo on this part. Alright. And since gikan mo 0.5, uh, 1 is to 5 na dilution, we then multiply this by 1 is to 5. So, the final dilution of this tube is already 1 is to 50. Gets lang? Alright? Kay ni kuwa maka from 1 is to 5. And then, ihang dilution sa tube daan, alright, is 1 is to 10. 
Nagyadani mo siyang point one. <laughs> so that's one is to ten. Okay. I ah, sorry. So ang deletion di ay initial deletion sa imo ang second tube. So one is to ten. Pag add ni mo sa point one ml. But kaning point one ml kay gika naman siya diluted na sample daan. So you multiply that with the dilution of the previous tube to get the final dilution of the second tube. Nagets ra? So that's one is to uh, fifty. And then let's say another tube na po na another point one ml. Oh, di ba? Ayan. Okay, so still the same result. Ayan. 1 is to 10 pa rin, example. And then we multiply that by the previous dilution of the tube, which is 1 is to 50. So your total is 1 is to 500. So as you can see, na-achieve rin nato siya. Okay? And as you can see, pila na ka-diluent ang nakailang ang nagamit. 2.2 compared naman sa 49.9 na medyo like kayo siyang difference, no? So, naka-minimize naka na sa wastage. In a way, na-minimize po nato atong inaccuracies sa pag-perform sa test, no? Um, and we, again, utilize small amount ragged of diluent or reagents, alright? Ayan. And one is to one is the dilution of the um, undiluted sample. I'm not sure nga siyang undiluted. Kaya gibutan nga siyang diluent. But the point is, dito siya nag-start. Alright? So, 1 is to 5, we have first dilution. Okay? Alright. Okay, 1 is to 5. And then you you do smaller dilutions na. 1 is to 5 na po, then 1 is to, uh, 1 is to 10, 1 is to 10. And then we multiply that with the final dilution, uh, with the initial dilution, or the previous tube na dilution, to get the um, final dilution. So as you can see, ang point lang yun sa compound dilution is you minimize wastage or yung mga wasteful na reagents ni gamit ra kagamay ra na mga reagents. Okay, so, and you achieved it at the smaller uh, amount possible which is again ato ang ganahan. Alright? Okay. Okay, now we go na to your serial dilution which is again atong focus sa uh, IS usually. What we do in the IS lab is your um, serial dilution. Okay, so ang point again sa serial dilution is, it's a compound dilution, pero ang imong pag-transfer is uh, constant. Okay, or constant imuhang dilution sa each tube na ginabuhat. Okay, alright. So again, serial dilution is usually used to obtain a titer. Di ba, you're familiar? Titer is usually, by Stevens, is defined as antibody strength. By Turgeon, it's, ako siyang gi-differentiate. <laughs> Um, it's also the concentration of your antibody, all right, or the amount of antibody and the presence of the antibody in a patient, all right. So titer, all right. And to avoid confusion, usually a titer is the reciprocal of the dilution. So it's the reciprocal of the dilution at which the endpoint occurred. So example, you have three test tubes or three dilutions. Okay, na nag dilute dilute ka. So let's say ang uh, final dilution niya. Um, okay, so many siya mga dilution niya. Example lang. And then let's say sa third test tube daw kay example na positive reaction. So example, let's say na agglutination here. All right? All right. Na agglutination ba or na ay basta end point. So kung asa na tube ang na end point, all right? You get the reciprocal of that or reciprocal of the dilution. So therefore since dire man sa third test tube ni nahitabo ang end point or positive result, so we get now the reciprocal of the dilution of the third tube which is uh, 1 is to 8. So, therefore, reciprocal ana is 8. So, therefore, muna iyahang titer. Okay? Nagets lang. Alright. So, muna siya pag-determine sa titer. Alright. Again, a series of test tubes is set up with exactly the same amount of diluent. So, therefore, um, ay mong diluent ang constant. Okay? Alright. Ayan. And the dilution factor, again, determines the serial dilution's folding. Alright. So, Ang point sa serial dilution is ang dilution factor de ang constant. So example, your dilution factor from one tube to the next is two. Sige lang gat two. Alright? So, or like, um, <clears throat> basta constant imuhang pag-transfer. Same lang diluent, constant po ang, ang dilution sa each tube. Alright? Ang initial dilution. Okay, sige. Well, we'll illustrate that. Okay. Again, most common serial dilution is doubling or twofold in which the amount of serum is cut in half with each dilution. So example, um, sige, I'll go now to the next. <laughs> Ayan. So example, uh, so we have four test tubes now. And ang, ang problem is make a two-fold dilution using 0.2 ml of serum in a series of four test tubes. Ayan. So of course, we add 0.2 ml of serum daan. So ang imuhang first tube, pwede siyang diluted, pwede po siyang undiluted. Alright, so let's say ang first tube kay um, diluted na siya. So, wait, sang ikutasan ko. Alright. Okay. So ang first test tube ni mo is of course, ang iyahang First or initial dilution is 1 is to 2. Uh, so example, the first test tube uh, contains already 0.2 ml of diluent. Alright? 
And then, imong giadaan og 0.2 ml serum. So, therefore, that's 0.2 over 0.2 plus 0.2. That's 0.2 over 0.4 or 2 over, uh, or 1 is to 2. All right. So, therefore, 1 is to 2, imuhang initial dilution. Now, we go now to the next uh, tube. Yes, kaya today. Uh, we now go to the next tube. So, we get another 0.2, ana. All right. So, still the same. <coughs> okay. <laughs> so, your, um, uh, your, your dilution now is 1 is to 4. Because again, uh, um, still the same. Constant man ang diluent, di ba? So, example, constant siya na 4. So, this also contains 0.2 ml of diluent, 0.2 ml, 0.2 ml. Okay? So, as you can see, nibuta kag 0.2 ml sa second tube. So, it's still the same na muniyahang dilution una. Right? But then, uh, gikan man siya og diluted already na 1 is to 2. So, you multiply, okay? Diba? As mentioned ganina, you multiply that by the dilution kung asa siya gikan. So, that's 1 is to 4. Gets? Alright. And then, of course, pagka third tube, 1 is to 8. And pagka fourth tube is 1 is to 16. Alright? Then, kabantay mo na each tube, ikaw ana tog 0.2 ml. Alright? And of course, sa last tube, ato na siyang i-discard o 0.2 ml. Para equal silag volume tanan. Gets? Alright, I hope na gets na to siya. So as you can see, twofold, meaning ang dilution kay na cut into half or uh, ang serum na cut into half. Nakagamay ang serum, gets? Okay. 1 is to 2. And then, kukuha ni mong 0.2 na po, na mong 1 is to 4. So twofold iya hang pag uh, ang dilution, ang pag difference. Kabantay mo, di ba? 1 is to 2. 1 is to 4, 1 is to 8, 1 is to 16. So, magpaday na siya. 1 is to 32, 1 is to 64, inana. So, twofold. Muna siya points sa twofold. Alright? Okay. So, each tube contains 0.2 ml of diluent. The patient serum, which is 0.2 ml, is added to tube 1. This is carefully mixed, okay? And then, 0.2 ml is withdrawn, added to the tube 2. And it's continued until the last tube is reached. The sample is mixed. And 0.2 ml again is discarded para even ra ang volume sa tanan. So, equal ras lang tanan. Alright? Okay. Ayan. So, muna siya yung calculation. So, ang tube 1, 0.2 ml of serum, then diluent. So, muna siya yung um, initial dilution, 1 is to 2. So, final dilution is 1 is to 1. Kaya siya ang first na undiluted, meaning kanang siya dyan ang first sample. Okay? So, 1 is to 2. Tube number 2, kaya ni kuha makag 0.2 ml, di ba? So, ang, tube, ang initial dilution sa tube pa rin is 1 is to 2. So, constant yung mukhang initial dilution, pero sa tube dilution, as a final dilution, naka mag-change or mo-differ. Alright? So, 1 is to 2 man ang initial dilution, but then, ni kuha makag 0.1 ml from an already diluted sa tube 1 na naanay already final dilution na 1 is to 2. So, you multiply this by the initial dilution of the tube, which is 1 is to 2. So, that's 1 is to 4. So, muna siyang point dyan po sa 1 is to 3, ah, sa tube number 3. Multiply it with uh, 1 is to 4 and then 1 is to 8 until mabot ka pila ka tubes. Alright? So, muna siya yung 2-fold. As you can see, um, constant tayo mohang um, initial dilution na 1 is to 2. But then, magka, magka half ang serum or magka, ang iyahang final dilution kay mag multiples of 2 na siya. So, like 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Na na. Alright? Okay. Alright. And then, example lang, ang end point daw or ang positive reaction kay na, na achieve at tube number 2 so, pila man yan, tighter. So, tube number 2 man daw ang end point or ang imuhang positive reaction. So, we get the reciprocal of this that's equivalent to 4. So, therefore, ang tighter niya is 4. Okay, alright, ayan. Okay. So, pwede po multiplication series, no? Kay 1 is ito imuhang initial dilution. So, you, you, you constant, constant ang initial dilution and then you raise that, example, 1 is to 2 ang imuhang initial dilution or ang constant na dilution. And then, uh, we then raise that to pila ka tubes imuhang gamiton. So, therefore, your final dilution uh, will be 1 is 2, 16. Okay. Where in the original dilution, okay, or katong initial dilution na constant, yun, is raised to the power equal to the number of tubes na imuhang gamiton. So, makabalo ka, example, if 6 tubes imuhang kailangan, so pila mana, 1 is 2, 64. Okay. So, meaning, ang last dilution nimo is 1 is 64. So, makabalo ka kung unsay last dilution nimo. Alright? Okay. And that's it. <laughs> Actually, so, muna siya ang end sa itong dilutions na uh, lecture. So, I hope medyo, I think, I think, ganang yun, medyo baka 
medyo na libog pa no but <laughs> sige lang just tell me if ever on saman and again medyo as i i mentioned medyo banga kung ma so hopefully ano lang basta ang point sa serial dilution guys is constant ang imong initial dilution no and then you then uh, do uh, kanang you transfer example twofold diba so from the initial dilution of one half may mo siyang one fourth so by two ang pag decrease sa dilution in a way so example one half multiply mo another one half so one fourth and then one, another one half na pod one eighth one sixteenth na na pwede po siya five fold so example five fold start kag one is to three na dilution niya yeah, five fold ang giingon sa problem so you multiply that this by one is to five so one is to fifteen Multiply this by 1 is to 5, na po, 1 is to 75, and ana. Multiply this by 1 is to 5, 1 is to, pila naman ni? 375, and ana. Okay? Alright. Tama ba? Ah, oh, di ba? And ana. And so on and so forth. Alright? Okay. Ayan. So, <laughs> muna siya ang points. <laughs> Five-fold dilution. Pwede po siya 6-fold, 7-fold, depende. Basta, ang point lang is constant. Okay? Mo siyang i-multiply o constant na uh, dilution in a way. So, serial. So, constant. Same ra siya. Okay? Alright. Ayan. So, we'll, uh, in our class, we'll go to some problems, Ani. So, ma-practice tag-solving, no? Para at least dili <laughs> uh, And hopefully, po na, gets ra ang lecture, pero I'm, I'm quite um, skeptical or medyo, medyo nagduhado ako or medyo nahado ko kay Basin wala. But, hopefully lang yun. But again, if you have any questions, chika lang, no? Chat lang sa itong group chat. Yes. <laughs> or just PM if you have. So, again, pasensya daan if medyo basin maglibog mo sa akong pag-explain. Again, medyo kapos tayo sa brain cells for math. But I do hope na gets ito. So, muna to siya atong lecture for serial dilutions uh, or for dilution, no? Again, I'll see you on our next lecture. So, I hope na katong mga new students na ko <laughs> sa third year, uh, hopefully, okay ra mo sa akong pag-lecture or nalingaw ra mo, no? So, Yes. So as much as possible, guys, the, uh, during the pre-recorded lecture, like magtapad mo sa inyo sa atong handouts para if na other notes na wala siya sa handouts then na chika na ko, at least manote rin niyo siya. All right? Okay. So again, yes. If you have questions, just chat sa GC or PM me. So I'll see you on our next pre-recorded lectures, guys. Medyo mataas taas pa, ma marami rami pang mga complex na mga concepts na hopefully ma ma water down ako or ma pa simplify ako. <laughs> Alright, so ayan guys, thank you so much for listening or for watching. Again, welcome to the second semester. Hopefully naman, medyo less stress na karun and mas kind ta to each other. Char. Okay, so hopefully naman, no? So carry lang. So kaya nyo yan, no? I'll be with you throughout the semester. Okay, so thank you guys. Keep safe, no? And God bless. Yee! <laughs>